Hello there my beautiful and lovely gamers, my name is John. today we are talking about something that irritates me, something that uh, is a big problem for a lot of people, that's ult economy. And that is how you should burn your ultimates and why most people do it wrong, especially the people that have not played for a very long time or for a long time on a good high tier competitive team. And that is, if you want to improve your game, since we know a lot of people want it, if you want to learn more about Overwatch and how this game actually works on the background and, and far more advanced and just kill people and capture points, then this is a good video to start on. Um, so we're talking about the, the frequently waste and the bad, it, it's almost, it, it, no wait, it, not almost, it is expected of you and almost uh, wanted of you to do bad old economy plays because it looks cool because it's what you see pro highlights stream highlights and you see on reddit and so on um, and that is for example uh, on this this is junker town and let's say that you are you're you're the defensive team and let's just say you play you play any of the you know following dps or something or diva even you play diva or you play hanzo or genji or tracer or junkrat or Vera or something right let's say the enemy team it's all you, you just, the enemy team is set up. Um, they're coming off from their spawn here, and they're they are about to you know they're up here somewhere, right? They they essentially they're gonna drop down and fight on the payload, which is you know stuck here. They they barely capped. Here it is very very common. I see I saw I saw this in 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 like a clip like some of the best pro Overwatch moments that ever happened. That's what it, that was. Uh, someone the enemy team was kind of just standing here waiting for a regroup. And there was plenty of time, there was like 4 or 5 minutes on the clock or whatever, and they fired a dragon strike up here and he killed almost all of them. He got like a big, 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 big kill. And it was definitely, was definitely, so it's not like the enemy team was waiting for this advantage and pushing. And, well, what happened? Well, the enemy team went back into their spawn. And this is the, the important part. So, how, ultimates are an advantage. That's what we use them for. If you lose a player, a lot of time popping ultimate is really, really good. So let's say they kill our Senyata, we nana boost our Ryan. Okay, cool. It's, it's all of a sudden a little bit more even. Or they, again, they, they kill our Senyata, they push in, we tack with nano visor or with nano blade, and we get like two to kills. Cool. Now we have even out the playing field. They were one up, and all of a sudden they're two down, right? We are all of a sudden have an advantage. Even though we were one down, now we're two up because we got three kills, and we got one. And that is how we want to burn ultimates. We burn them as a way for us to get an advantage, to get that edge, and to keep that edge. But what we also need to think about is if we get a 6k blade up here, we're, we're doing a really pog play with 1v6 them up here, then one, they all die at the same time, meaning that they get 10 seconds of of uh, of of, uh, of respawn penalty. That's essentially time to take them to respawn now. And then it also, they get the, the time from walking to spawn up to back here, right? Which isn't a lot of time. Let's just say, Let's just say, let's give it a long time. Uh, they somehow, they managed to, you know, I don't know how, but let's say 20 seconds. They, we bought 20 seconds from nanoblading into this area. On top of that, and this is the worst part, they didn't build any ultimates, right? They died almost immediately, they didn't build, build any ultimates, but neither did we. And that's the worst part. Our team who's standing down here, let's say it's Ryan and whatever, they are not building anything as if we kill them. And that, that happens as well. If, if the enemy team somehow, you know, they were here and we kill all six of them with a, with a blade immediately, right? They immediately have to drop, we nano blade or we barrage them, right? Our Pharah is hiding up here. They drop here, immediately barrage and we kill all six or five of them and the one gets out, right? The, our team is not going to build any ultimate charge of that. And that is really, really bad because what we want to do is rather let them go down, fight a little bit, and then before they can ult us, we ult them to get an advantage. Or we ult very early and only get a couple of kills, right? Or pulls out some of their ultimates, right? That's what we want. We want, of course, not let them, you know, go down here, push us back, grab us here, wipe us, push the payload a lot, and then we go up here and then uh, we don't want to burn ultimates too early because you don't said, and then they nanoblade and kill like four of us. Now we don't want to build ultimates because then we are on their side. What we want them to do is drop down, fight a little bit, burn ultimate, win that team fight. And build ultimates in that so we don't just immediately bite them. Earthshadow and Graviton are great examples because Earthshadow CCs them down onto the ground so everyone can shoot at them and everyone can get participation on that ultimate. Graviton is the same. They all cost it up so Ryan can swing and build his Earthshadow back up. Genji can dash in and get a lot of ultimates on his um, on his Dragon Blade. Alec can toss a nade in there and so on, so on, so on. Right, so at that point, we're building ultimates and burning them at the same time. So we are constantly gaining new advantages while burning them and getting. Of course, we're using the ultimates of what we do. We're winning teamfights with them, but also because we're letting 
letting them engage, we're letting them stagger, right? We're not just wiping all of them in one big choke. They are spread out a little bit. They might run away in here under and giving us time to kind of chase them down and kill them. An example that I like to pull is how my team used to when I played in tournaments and uh, and played on TV in Norway. And it was actually really, really fucking cool when I got to play on TV. But that's a different story. Um, we were the red team on King's Run. We would have this strategy which was very, very nice. So we would push in here, and the first thing that would happen is we would, one, try to debate the bubble of, of the enemy Ryan. If we, that didn't happen, no matter if it happened or not, our Ryan would charge the enemy Ryan into here. He would pin them, and essentially force the enemy team, they would back off into this choke, very, very convincingly, right? Giving us a lot of space. So we would push up here. I would a lot of time, I would a lot of time immediately snipe whoever was up here. There was always someone up there. Always someone standing here. Normally a soldier or widow or whatever. I would normally snipe that guy. Then I would go here, and if we wrote it up here, we would normally get sniped. That was nice. So we had already had an advantage. We pushed them back, and we all of a sudden, we took point control. We forced them into this choke area, right? And now we had point control. So we were fighting point control, and we were slowly but surely pushing them. Back. We were keeping up the nice, good pressure, and we were slowly but surely killing them. Slowly but surely. Normally, we managed to get one, maybe even get two kills out of this. And it's a huge advantage, and they're like, okay, this is lost. They're backing off. They're backing off. They're backing off. I would normally have my Gravitons, my Dragon Strikes, I would stay on the objective. And now, with normally like this and the other, and the Lucy would help speed boost these guys up. So these guys, these three here, they would respawn up here, right? Like good players, because they died in time. They, they would respawn. These guys would then run backwards, trying to get to the team. They would then die. And then, since majority of our team had then pushed up, up here, these guys would, you guessed it, get caught out. Then they would die. And now we had a big thing, because these three would then respawn far over here, run up, have to wait, then these guys came, they respawned over here again, came up, and we got a lot of free payload progress. And we got a lot of ultimates, because we killed them in wave, we let them, their support players heal them up, we let everyone kind of stay in there and fight. And now we would have Earth Shatter, we would have Dragon Strike, we would have High Noon, and we would have Graviton. That was normally the ultimate, we normally also had Nano, and maybe be a little bit close to, to Drop Beat, but the most important was either Earth Shatter and High Noon, or Graviton and Dragon. Depending on what we had, we burned it that next fight. So let's say ideally we had all of our ultimates. Let's just say that we had the ultimates that we used for the different combos. So the High Noon is optional, but he normally would have it since it burns so fast, but it's an optional, so I'm not gonna highlight right now. So we would have this for the next fight. They would come, they would push up, they would push up, right? And then we would use the Earth Shatter. Right? Earth Shatter, knock everyone down, cool, free team kill, and we wipe them, and they are all out. Right? We were used very early. A lot of time we could use a, high, a hidden shatter, let them push in, send a Reinhardt up here. Or in general, if we had the high noon, we would high noon, break the shield of the Rhine, since they would normally get to contest us right around here. Uh, right around here. They would normally contest right here, so they would be caught in the open for the high noon. So Ryan would put up his shield, it would break because everyone's, there would be people behind it, so damage would divide over to the shield. Break it, it's a free shatter. And at that point, it's like, okay, cool, we get a shatter, we wipe them. That's great. We would cap, second point, and we would have Grab Dragon now. So, you guessed it, we would push very aggressively because the Earth Shadow combo would never kill everyone. A lot of times, support players, especially like the support here, and the Widow, for example, they would a lot of time back off. And that means cool staggers. So, these three would stagger first, would die to the ultimate, respawn, back out. Then these three would die, respawn, back out, and giving us a lot of free payload progress again. So, we would get the payload to around this corner. Normally, a lot of time, get it here, and then grab dragon. We grab dragon here, very, very early, very aggressively early, because now these guys were starting to have ultimates, so we would burn it incredibly early here, to just catch them out, wipe them, and then get the payload right around here. A lot of time, sometimes they manage to contest, and if they manage to contest, they would a lot of time have six ultimates, and just rush, as much as they could. They would just rush onto the objective, burn a lot of ultimates, a lot of time we would burn our nano, we would burn our um, drop beat, we have a Sanyata now, but normally they would be an Ana. It just means I forgot to spawn in an Ana instead. So we burn Nano, we burn Drop It now. They would burn majority, like four, five, six ultimates of theirs. And then it's like, okay, cool. Because their Shatter got burned here. So by now, we have almost gotten a new one. So we would kind of just brawl on the point with, with, with Drop It to keep us up with Nano on the Rhine to make sure that he could get it. I would build towards my my uh, my Dragon Strike. A lot of time we could also Nan the Saria so he could build towards a new Graviton. And they would commit with 5-6 ultimates, depleting their own ultimates arsenal while we are building on them. So they are holding ultimates, and as they are holding, they can't build. And since we already have burned all of ours, we are just building up on them, using support ultimates to sustain ourselves. Right? And this would be incredibly efficient, because the next team fight, or maybe even the team fight after that, 
we would trade very, very aggressive. We'd essentially just do a very aggressive poke comp. If we played it correctly, sometimes we fed and gave them a lot of ultimates. But if we played correctly, we would build a lot of ultimates out of this. And be able to next fight have a Graviton, Dragon Strike or Dragon Strike, Shatter or a High Noon Shatter to combo with to give us a huge advantage to play objective, right? And to just cap the rest of the objective with a lot of times. We could win these against some really good teams with maybe four or five minutes in the time bank, right? Because we didn't burn ultimates. And what we then would see a lot of other teams, especially the worst, the, 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 the not so good team essentially is for example it, we would run out here and then they they would hide with a saria up here sometimes or hide with a saria and then they would grab us here and they would pulse bomb and boom and that's great but no one built ultimates on the enemy team so a lot of time on defense if we got staggered here the enemy team would get very very cocked they would burn their ultimates super super fast because oh yeah we have ultimates let's burn them really fast before they get there they burn theirs wipe us with an ultimate and a damage combo we would just okay we died we, they didn't build any ultimates off us okay cool well, we just walk back, and that cost us what, like 15 seconds max, right? Compared to what they could, what damage they could have done, if they had hidden with the Saria, let us push far in here, grab us here, wipe some of our backline, and then let our tank line stay alive up here, maybe with one more player, and then staggering these guys back to their spawn. So we would first have one wave, uh, our backline would then respawn, then our tank line would die, then our tank line would respawn, two staggers. And a lot of ultimate spells, and they wouldn't just wipe the entire team with one combo. They would wipe half the team, and making sure that we did not want to earth shatter three vsx or grab the three vsx. So they would then, okay, cool. Now we have the advantage. Now our hammer just swings by, and they would build up a, a earth shatter, and that would be the end of it. And that is some of the stuff that I see a lot of team don't do. A lot of team doesn't do this. They don't use their ultimates correctly, and it's frustrating because a lot of people are like, oh my god, that's so cool. He won v six. That's so dope. But it's like, yeah, but he also just fucked the old economy of their team because you guys burn three ultimates and you build nothing in it you got no advantages now you just threw away your lead in ultimates here which is really bad or oh they're holding their ultimates for eight years so it doesn't matter because you're not building anything so your old economy is going to be behind the enemy team they have two you have six but they use those two much earlier and won the team fight you guys gave it because you don't want to waste your six ultimates so at that point well they're gonna build more ultimates now and you guys are not building anything else because you're holding six of them. So that is the stuff I wanted to talk about. It's it's something that'd be frustrating me. I hope this video um, helps. As always, question down in the comment section or question on Twitch, which I will link down in the description, um, or on the Discord server, which also link down in the description. If you have need help, those are the, the place to be. Twitch, you can normally catch me and ask me questions personally. On the Discord, it's mostly other people that will be answering, unless I get tagged, and I sometimes try to take some time to respond to that. Now, I hope that you guys, please, take care of yourself. I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you liked it. And so always, guys, my name is Benjolmo. Please keep the enemy in your crosshair.